As a fighter pilot and an entrepreneur, I'm particularly passionate about this concept of peak performance. How is it that fighter pilots achieve peak performance in a rapidly changing, complex environment flying jets? And how could business people use the same tools and techniques? Show of hands, anyone remember where they were on September 11th, 2001? It's instant, isn't it? The first flight attendant came back to my seat. She said, First Officer Burke, the captain would like to see you in the cockpit. I walked up to the cockpit. The captain closed the door. This is a very tight space. It was me, the captain, the first officer, and the first flight attendant. He handed me a piece of United Airlines company communication that had just come over the computer. I looked at it and said, we have experienced a major catastrophe. Five minutes later, our flight was canceled. I walked out of the jetway into the terminal, and like all of you, I saw on the TV monitors what had really happened. And my first reaction, I'm sure just like everybody in this room was, oh my god, what can I do to help? Two minutes later, I called up the squadron commander at Burlington. Hey, sir, Major Anthony Burke, F-16 pilot with the California Air Guard, stuck here in Burlington, Vermont, just wondering if I could help. Long silence on the other end of the line. You're an F-16 pilot? Yes, sir. You fly the Block 30? which is the exact variant of the F-16 we flew in California? Yes, sir. What size boots do you wear? <laughs> I said, uh, he said, could you get over here right away? I have just been tasked to fly a combat air patrol 24-7 over New York City. It's going to take me 12 pilots to do the job, but I've only got 11. I can't do it without you. And then a few moments later, I was introduced to my wingman somebody I'd never met. We had a briefing. We sat down for 30 minutes and did a quick briefing to talk about not how to fly the F-16, but the specific local considerations of what was going on in Burlington, the mission I was going to fly, and how we would operate effectively together. A few hours later, I found myself taking off in a jet I'd never flown, out of an airfield I'd never been to, in airspace I'd never seen before, and yet I felt like I was doing it for the hundredth time. I felt so comfortable. Fighter pilots and effective businesses have developed some cadence in their business, in the way they operate, to ensure that they drive the results they're looking for. For fighter pilots, that's based on a system of always briefing before key missions to ensure we're all working together and flying in formation, and always debriefing right afterwards because we know no fighter pilot's ever flown the perfect mission. And I think it's fair to say that no one in business will ever have the perfect day, the perfect week, the perfect month, or the perfect meeting. Fighter pilots always call time out right afterwards and hold a debrief so we can learn from the mistakes and the victories of today's mission and continue to improve as individuals and as a team. From a fighter pilot's point of view, a briefing is not a planning session. It's not a two-way conversation. It's not a solicitation of feedback or input. A briefing is simply the time when the preparation ends and the execution starts. It's a way for leaders to clearly and concisely communicate their plans in a manner that everyone understands and expects so that when we walk out the door to go fly our mission, we're all on the same sheet of music and fly it in formation. For fighter pilots, debrief is simply a sacred learning environment designed to accelerate the experience of the individuals and the team. It's also designed to make sure that your leaders get the honest feedback they need to keep the team, to keep the organization moving forward. When we get into that debrief and the door to that room closes, something magical happens. Name tags come off the chest. They're actually Velcroed on. We throw them down on the table. Rank comes off the shoulder. And we hold a debrief with no hierarchy where the sole purpose is to learn and get better. Debrief is definitely the secret to getting just a little bit better, both in your business and in mine. Mach 2 is all about figuring out how to fighter pilots achieve results in a rapidly changing, complex environment flying jets, and how can business people use the same tools? I've had the pleasure over the past 15 years in this business working with top sales teams, top sales individuals, 
manufacturing firms, accounting firms, anybody who's all about getting better results, communicating at a better level, working better as a team, and individually winning.